ATB Psychic Tarot Channel. All my readings are done with the spirit guides and God permission. You are thinking about uh, something related to a family. Maybe you want uh, to start a family business. There is something that you want uh, to do with someone. I feel it could be someone from your family, like an extra, an extra money. You need extra money. And um, maybe something related to a pet house. Maybe you want to open a pet house or a place that you are going to sell services and products. Uh, uh, car wash, and then you are going to sell also some car items. I don't know what it is, but uh, you, are, you are looking for uh, a place to start it, and uh, you are buying projects, you are studying a lot about it. Some other of you, I think you are going to start something very spiritual, Maybe you are going to work with the spirituality or you are going to do something at the digital form. Because many of you are, are tired of your job. You know you need to work. You know the job is important for you. But uh, you want to have more money. So you are going to start something extra. I see that you are moving and you are not going to do it alone. I see that you are going to do it with somebody else, somebody that uh, is going to support you, someone that you really, really tra trust. And what I see here is that this is going to work fine, fine, very well. I see that uh, you are going to bring abundance to your life, the gold you need. I see that you have so many uh, spiritual abilities and your intuition is like God's whispering at your ears. So you are very attentive to all universe signs because you want it to work out for you. You want it to be fine. I me. Also Let me tell what the spirit guides and angels tell me and what God has already told me. We are here in this planet to be happy. He is our Godfather. He wants all the, his children to be happy. You are a special child of God. You came here to be happy, to have health, to have love, and to have abundance. Our journey here in this planet must be joy. Everything that comes away bringing us obstacle to get through, make us stronger. We learn from it. Nobody, no one comes here in this planet to be happy all the time. Every day, God brings to us an obstacle. Something that sometimes we don't know how to deal with. Once we get the knowledge how to deal with, we become stronger. And then we walk. We keep walking. And what I see for you is that you have a great faith. You believe in yourself. You love yourself. You know that you deserve. And uh, I see that... Uh, you feel lack of attention. In your love life, you feel lack of attention. You are living with someone that doesn't give you enough attention. You are so kind, gentle, but the person isn't. And you are ready to leave behind the person that is not giving for you attention, love, care. And I don't know, but I think that there is someone in your mind from the past. It could, it could be your ex or not. Maybe someone you met before your ex from your youth. Maybe you had a, an extra relationship, a triangle. I don't know. But someone is not getting out of your life and you are always comparing this person with your person 
And definitely, you want that person from the past back. Now I'm going to ask you something. Do you want the person from your past back? Or do you want the love, the way of the person treated it to you? Because it's different. The person from your past, maybe you don't see this person for years. Believe me, this person changed. And this person can be in another path with another person. So don't go in your back, past. We cannot walk back in our life. We have to go forward. What you need to find in your life is someone in your future, in your destiny, forward, that will bring you the same joy that the person in the past did. And I will tell you why. Because people that come in, your, in our life come to teach us something. Maybe this person in your past have teaching you how to be loved. This person in the past showed to you how you deserve to be loved. You left the person, you walk forward, you find another one, you married the person you are right now, but this person doesn't give you the love that the past one had teached you how you deserve to be loved. So, that's simple. Leave behind who doesn't give the love you deserve it. Because we are here because, repeat, repeat now with me. Please, get up from your couch, from your chair, and repeat it out and loud. I can. I deserve it. I receive it, I share it, and I'm thankful. Again, I can, I deserve it, I receive it, I share it, and I'm thankful. That's the law of your life. And now you have to focus on this. You, can under you have to understand that you can do everything you want if you do on, on, on God's words and mandaments. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to have money, to have health. You deserve happiness. You know why you deserve? Because you share. Once you get it, you share it. And God's watching you. So God will give to you. That's why you receive. And then you thank. You thank God. And that's exactly what's happening now in your life. Don't look behind. Don't, don't go back in your life. Past must be in the past. Watch out what you have to do now in your life. And when you decide what you have to do in your life, you have to think that you are special God's child. You deserve the best. If you are not in a situation or around people who bring for you the best, leave behind and keep walking. Because what I see here is that someone, someone have sacrificed your whole life for your family, but they don't recognize. And they, are, they got so used to have you doing all their needs that they don't give importance anymore. There is something, there is something that is about to happen in your life. But before that, you are going to have some heavy obstacle. I see that maybe you, you will have some kind of uh, lawsuit that you will need to respond. Someone is going to suit you. Someone is going to put you on jail if you don't pay something for them. 
So be careful. This is happening. You have to take care. Now, your eyes must be on everything that is related to law, to police, and to your business, your job. That's what you have to have your eyes on. The purpose of your life is already set and you already know. You are very religious, mystical, spiritual person. And uh, the person that you love or the person that you will love will take good care of you and help you on your health needs. But now you have to take care of whatever is related to law, police, and job. This what is what your eyes must be on. I see that once you get out of this confusion, this trouble, you are going to start your peaceful life. And you will have someone walking with you in this journal who will give you peace, love, and care. It's someone that you don't know yet. If you are single, you are going to meet. If you are in a relationship and are getting a divorce, you are going to meet this person later. But right now, take care of your business. I don't want to see you in trouble with law or police. Take care of your business. You know why? Because in about, write down, write down, because everything that I tell I ask you to write down because then you can ask me, hello, ATB, it didn't happen. I will tell you why. Because I know that in nine months from now, you are going to swim in a pool of money. If you do it right, whatever you have to do now. Okay? Dear, see you in nine months. If you start now, you are going to swim in a pool of money with your beloved one. I am sure about it. And if you want to more, know more, you can comment. I will get in touch with you if you want a private reading. And I ask you, please, please, please subscribe, share, give my like. It is very important for me. And every day I come here and tell you the messages that your spirit guides want you to know. See you.